Welcome back. Welcome back to Kenton and Habiba. This is Habiba here today. I am so excited to be back uh, trying to bring you consistent content. I just thought I would give you an update and also share a few things that I have purchased that bring me joy and feed that inner child. And you know, just a little sit down chat with you and me <laughs> because I haven't done one of those in a while. Usually I'm bringing you super serious content and the medical information tends to be a little bit more heavy and then sometimes we do a little bit of vlogs and sometimes we do a little bit of hauls you know we do it all on this channel you never know what you're gonna get right <laughs> anyway seriously it's nice to be back talking to you and yeah thank you so much to everybody that reached out asking whether we were okay and how things were going here in north carolina after the hurricane helene yeah we were very lucky honestly we were very lucky in our immediate area there really was no major damage even though in parts of north carolina there has been really significant damage and people have lost their lives you may have heard of the young woman for example who passed away in her house uh, with her newborns that is horrible. Kobe Williams, she had one month old twins. Can you imagine? One month old twins. And they all died when a tree fell on their home during Hurricane Helene. May they rest in peace. A lot of people died. So we're feeling blessed. We're feeling blessed, honestly, because, yeah, nothing major in our immediate area. Say and hello to YouTube. They haven't seen you in a minute. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's my wonderful wife's uh, cookbook. <laughs> We're in the holiday season. That's right. Season. I haven't even been promoting it, to be honest. Oh, I have. Mm -hmm. So I wear this. So, yeah, Caribbean black cake. Time <laughs> to do it before, yep. before Thanksgiving and Christmas. Right. So Where can they the find the book? Just go on uh, Ken and Aviva, and you can get the book through Amazon. And, uh, and all actually different booksellers. Just look it up uh, on Amazon, Kindle. You can order it also on um, uh, other sites as well. Yeah, just look it up. What do you like about black cake? It's black. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> it's black. How's it taste? How's it taste? It tastes fantastic the way you do it. Mm -hmm. Again, it's a family recipe, right? Right. Like Grandpa. So it's it's a it's, so it's great. It's got uh, I guess also it's a mix of brandy and rum. So mm -hmm. that's what also is a little. So check out the cake, and it also has a bonus is uh, bread pudding. Yeah. So in the and it also has gluten free version too. Right. Yep. So you don't get that in, in many other of the cookbooks too. So. All right. So how are you doing? People have been asking how we're doing in terms of the storm or whether it affected us or not. Well, we've been we've been fortunate that we haven't had anything major except for a large limb came down. Thank God it missed uh, our house and the neighbor's house. It just fell right between, but it was very large. Right. So we had to cut it up. And uh, other than that, it's just some, some little bit of wear and tear, but fortunately nothing major. So we have these giant pine trees. Giant. One of the branches came down, so they're chopping it up. Ah, boo -boo. <laughs> Briefly on the kids, Khalid is in his second year of medical school, doing well. He stopped by home this weekend, and I was admiring his hoodie. Here he is reluctantly letting me film him. <laughs> And then here is Kareem, who is the house chef. He seems to really enjoy cooking, but he also works remotely. And Mariam, our youngest, is working. She now has two jobs, and so she wasn't home when this was filmed. I was craving some tacos, by the way. These are street tacos. So good. These are from the food truck from Chapel Hill. No, Carborough. Carborough. Yeah, I've highlighted them before. So good. Anyway, we're all good. 
uh, health-wise, knock on wood or knock on glass, we are good. <laughs> Nobody is sick in the house right now. So I am thankful for that, honestly, because I'm sure you know, Mr. Vid is still out there. Yep, Mr. Vid is still out there, and I know firsthand. Also, I want to thank everyone that left me a response to my comment on the community page where I stated that I wasn't being consistent on YouTube due to a number of factors. One being the fact that I had COVID and that really just took away my motivation for literally three weeks. Then after I got better, we were traveling. Um, I have some other travel content I haven't shared yet and I will. Um, also, I was feeling burnt out. I was just feeling like, you know, is it even worth it? You know, um, sometimes you post things and you're like, the algorithm doesn't seem like it's for you. And does this content even matter? But all of you were like really positive and reassuring and telling me to keep posting. So I really thank you for that encouragement. I really appreciate every bit of response, even if I'm not um, you know, even if it doesn't look like I see it, but I see it. So really, really thank you from the bottom of my heart. All right, so I just wanted to show you a few things that I have purchased so far, not too many. And you may have seen these things if you are watching my shorts, right? So you would have seen that I went to Bath and Body and bought some lotion. This is like body lotion or hand lotion. I got this one also. This is the aromatherapy. It smells really good. And this is for stress relief. This is actually Mariam's. I gave it to Mariam. I bought two of those. And this is the champagne, apple, and honey. And yeah, you should definitely check out the displays at Bath & Body if you haven't been there in a while. Really nice, and these are good to have. And usually I buy about four at a time and they will last me the year. So this is the Vanilla Romance Ultimate Hydrating Body Cream. I'm like mixing these. These are not meant to be mixed, I don't think. <laughs> but maybe like perfume, it's okay, you know? You can mix perfume. Um, ooh. That smells like food. That smells like icing, you know, icing on a cupcake. Mmm, the vanilla romance. I didn't think I would like that. And then this one is the Autumn Drive. And let's be real. Honestly, sometimes it's all about the packaging. The packaging is definitely giving fall. We bought this coach bag. Because y'all know I'm into coach. I don't care for those of you who think, oh, coach is so common. It's everywhere. That's not true. And even if it is, that doesn't take away the quality <laughs> of the bag, you know, for people who think, oh, you got to spend $5,000 or else it's not um, designer. Girl, bye. I like $5,000 in my bank account, not $5,000 on a bag, okay? This is the Coach Bag Brooklyn. This is the Brooklyn, so this is like the medium size. It comes smaller and it comes larger. Actually, you would have seen me use this on vacation. Did I use it in, yeah, I used this, oh, you haven't seen the vlog yet. I used this in Detroit. I bought this specifically to go to Detroit. So no, you may not have seen it unless you watch my shorts. All right, so she's a handy bag. Um, I also got this little charm. Okay, you've seen this charm everywhere. This runs for $95 at Coach. I didn't get this for $95 at Coach. The bag is an authentic Coach bag, but this charm, you can find this for literally $10. It's the exact same thing. I know because I live in coach. <laughs> the exact same thing without the logo. You know, you're not gonna see the C logo or coach logo on the metal hardware, but it's exactly the same otherwise. And for 10 to $20, you can get this on Etsy. You can get this on Amazon, I think. And we're not gonna talk about Timu, but I know it's at Timu also. 
okay? So I like it because it's called Brooklyn. And for those who don't know, the first place I lived in the United States was Brooklyn. That's where I went or finished my high school, Brooklyn. This Coach Bear, and I think it would look cute on here too. Let's see. Let's see. Nowadays, it's all about adorning your bags. And then you walk around and everybody can hear you. <laughs> All right, it's enough about the bag. Do you like the color, by the way? Would you have gotten this in black or it comes also in like a brown, a chocolate brown, but that was not available. What's that color called? Okay, I found it, yeah. So the brownish color, yeah, this brownish color is in the color maple. So yeah, the large is $495. So I said this is the medium that I have. So I guess I must have spent $2.95, which is not bad. And there's so many new coach bags that are out lately that I, I don't even want to go to the site anymore because I'm just like, they just want to take our money. <laughs> no, seriously, there are so many cute coach bags that have come out. You know, there's the Empire, the big one that looks like a doctor bag. I'm not really into that. But there's this one that has like the sparkles or the crystals on it. It's got this crystal signature on it really nice oh my god and then there's the tabby shoulder bag uh in silver the 26 this one would look really nice for the holidays so that one runs for 550 dollars as you know i have it in black with the gold brass hardware and i really love this bag because i believe like many people it's giving uh, Chanel vibes with the chain strap very nice and soft and actually holds quite a bit this is the medium size because there's one that comes larger and there is one that is smaller so this is the middle size anyway enough about bags I did not buy any new bags this fall so far but then again fall just started <laughs> I bought only this one and that's because right now I'm on my doll kick, okay? The thing with me is I can get a little bit obsessed about certain things, even though dolls are, have always been an obsession. So let me show you so far what I have gotten in the last month. First hint is on my shoulder. <laughs> Unless y'all didn't notice. <laughs> The Adams Family. I've been obsessed with The Adams Family. You know the show on Netflix, right? There has been the show about two years ago it came out. I mean, The Adams Family as a show is years old. This is something I've watched in my childhood. I think the original version came out in black and white, right? And growing up, I definitely watched The Addams Family and then they've had new, you know, versions of it. And the latest version is with Jenna Ortega, who I absolutely love as an actress. She's brilliant, she's so cute. And so I bought the Wednesday Addams doll. Okay, this is a um, collaboration with Monster High and the show Wednesday, which is a uh, take off of the Addams Family. Um, and I love her quirky personality, dark and quirky. <laughs> Says, the private thoughts of Wednesday Addams keep out or risk of dismemberment. I wasn't going to attend the rave and dance, but Thing, oh, the hand, you know, the hand is called Thing. But Thing procured me a dress with his five finger discount and I couldn't squander a perfect chance to investigate. Black as my sense of humor, the gown has sheer layers that move like shadows. One could say I looked like a ghostly apparition in the moonlight. And while I did enjoy dancing to the 80s punk in my killer shoes, the highlight of the night was when chaos rained down and the room was filled with screams. <laughs> and here's the thing, right? She's not the one I actually wanted. I wanted a Wednesday doll, but the one I wanted comes with a uniform. And I could not find her at Walmart because she's supposed to be at Walmart. She sold out, so I went online and I ordered her from Walmart and then they canceled the order saying, oh, we're sorry, um, she's not in stock anymore. So they refunded me my money. But this has been like 
a journey where I then became even more obsessed. I have to get her. So I ordered her off of eBay. And the thing is the doll in the uniform, originally a Walmart site was like under $40, maybe $40. The one on eBay is $80, has cost me $80. I know, crazy. What is wrong with me? Please come and check my head. <laughs> that I would buy a plastic doll for $80. But that's how obsessed I get. And then you can buy the um, painted black fashion pack. This is basically her with the uh, cello. Well, you don't get the doll, you get the clothes, the cello, the jacket. Um, let me show you, for example, let me show you. It's so cute, it's so cute, here's the cello. Look at that, isn't that cute? Tell me that's not cute. And then here is her little dress. This is how tiny this little dress is. Does that not say classic Wednesday Adams? So cute. You can also get this directly from Mattel if you go to the website, I believe. But even on Mattel, the one again with the uniform and the backpack is not available. So, okay, the next thing I have is not something I bought recently. This is actually wool my grandmother um, owned or bought many, many years ago. And after she passed, I found, you know, a little bag with just wool. And since I know how to knit and crochet, I thought, okay, I'll save it for another day or a rainy day or when I need it for something. And I need it to make this. So this is not finished yet. You're probably like, is what is that? It looks like a tea. This is going to be a long sweater coat for my smart doll. <laughs> That's what this is. It's not finished. When it's finished, you'll see it. But I got to show you my new smart doll. You're probably like, what is the big deal? Why is it called a smart doll? Some people left me a comment like, why is it called smart doll? I don't know, ask Danny Chu. That's just the name of the brand. I think some people have said that he was planning to make it something related to robotics and it was going to be a little bit too uh, expensive or too difficult to do that, to kind of mass produce dolls that were mini robots. I don't know, something like that. All I know is it's called a smart doll. It's from Japan. It is an ultimate luxury when it comes to dolls, okay? Because this doll can move all her joints. She's very tall. So I brought her here so you can see. You can see which one is the smart doll, right? That one. She's wearing an Afro wig that I made her. And next to her, I just wanted to show you in comparison are the Blythe dolls. You've seen these dolls so many times. They are so adorable. And um, with her little pink Birkin, because you know I'm obsessed with miniature things. And then this is Ayodele. And all of these clothes I made for her. But you see the scale, they're very small. Or, you know, I don't know about very small. They're the average size of what you would think most dolls are, except they have big heads, big heads. But look, Queen Halima here is literally like two feet tall. So I just found this box. I don't know if the kids found it in the garage and put it in my closet. I have no idea. All I know is I found it. It's a box that I had. So these are things I made in 2018 or things I collected also. Just silly little knickknacks. Like look at this adorable little teapot. This is from Beauty and the Beast. So this would be the right scale for the Blythe doll. Isn't that adorable? I think she should have a little tea party. I should set up a little tea party for them. Okay, what else we got in here? I made this little dresser. <laughs> oh my goodness. What else did I find in here that I thought was cute? Oh, this I never took out. This you can get um, charms from Michaels. Is it Michaels? You know now the trend to put charms on your bags is a big thing big thing this season. Well, this is not really for a bag, but this was for my either dollhouse or something dolly. It's a miniature, so cute. This is a miniature clock. Um, I think this is part of a Beauty and the Beast collection. Again, many years ago, so cute. 
All right, back to the smart doll. She can't even fit in the frame, honestly. Let me show you. Let's lower her. Like, I want you to see how tall. Okay, this is her standing on my uh, lap. And you see how tall she is. And you can, like, move her joints and put her in like all kinds of positions which you can't always do as well with other dolls i mean you can do all kinds of things with this doll and she moves at the chest she moves at the neck <laughs> which other doll does all that <laughs> uh really cool and this has unlocked a new addiction because I already have another smart doll coming um, in a different skin tone so this one is in the shade Coco and she is the regular size so he has other dolls now that are in plus size so I can't wait to get the one that's a plus size version in a color or shade that's closer to my color um, he's coming out with the coffee shade so I can't wait to see that see I made her a I guess we would call this what would you call this a kaftan yeah I think it's called like a kaftan an open kaftan or duster in the Ankara fabric I gave her some necklaces I gave her earrings I gave her bracelet because you know my girls got to be accessorized we have to be accessorized um the jeans are from Smart Doll or basically um, Culture Japan. The jeans alone are $100. It's crazy. Correction, based on the conversion of the Japanese yen and the US dollar, it actually ended up costing me 80 US dollars. And for the boots, the Chelsea boots in leather, that will cost you about 100 US dollars. And in vinyl, $46. Find like she's worth it because she totally inspires me, just brings out a lot of creativity. And for people that were saying, oh, you must have wanted a sister growing up. You're right, I wanted a sister growing up. My parents didn't want any more children. Um, I was the oldest of three. I'm about to take off her wig, by the way, and switch it. Ah! <laughs> I was the oldest of three, and yeah, I desired a sister and couldn't have one. And also, because I was a very anxious child and, you know, with my parents and all their issues, I had a lot of anxiety and fears. Um, yeah, I don't want to talk about it right now. But anyway, I think dolls just created a safe space for me and I just never grew out of it. Um, yeah, I just never grew out of it. Got to make sure you're not showing too much forehead. It doesn't look good when too much forehead is showing. I think she's ready for her close up. So this is kind of looking like natural hair that's been blown out and you know, flexi rod, because I used flexi rods to do this. This one is the braided. And again, if you were watching my shorts, you would have seen me make these wigs. Isn't that adorable? It looks so good, so natural. Look at that. She's got this, uh, what do you call it? Telescoping stand that can hook into her back and then allows her to stand you know, without falling. So anyway, look at her hair. Isn't that pretty? So pretty, so pretty. And you see the braids, right? The scale, I made them nice and skinny so they uh, seem appropriate for her size. The final wig that I've made so far, because y'all know she came with straight hair. The final wig, which I call her model diva wig is this one this one is like one of my favorites right there you go what do you think isn't that cute well this one's not cute this one's very like strong and bold and i am woman and let me put my hands up and show you all right, here she is showing off her hairstyle for you. You get the gist, you get the gist. She's an amazing doll. She is amazing. And if you've ever considered one and you can afford it, go ahead or save up for her. 
save up for her honestly because I feel like that's what I've done over the years um, I really really thought about it before I got her and now it has unlocked a whole new obsession so don't be surprised if you see a few more even though I've told myself besides the one I just got I can't get another one till Christmas time <laughs> <laughs> I put back her long braids because she saw me with my braids. She wants her long braids back on. So let's do that. And then I'll show you my duster or my outfit that's similar but different Ankara fabric. And then I'll show you this coat that I got that you're going to need for the fall. I'm telling you this coat is the bomb. Do people still say that? The bomb? <laughs> So this is the brand Mad Collection. I have a US 18. I really could have done a size smaller. I don't remember why I got a bigger size because this is quite large. And it's lined, really good quality. Um, yeah, and so this is one of those things where if you have something casual and you want to dress it up, you can dress it up with something like this. This is very size inclusive. Anybody will look good in it, whether you're skinny, whether you're plus size. It's almost like a, I guess like a kimono, but with Ankara fabric. You've definitely seen this before a few years ago. It's got pockets. This is the sleeves. So I don't know if you can see, it's got like a slit. Oh my God, oh my God, look at us twinning. Can you see we're twinning with our Ankara robes or Ankara long shirt, jacket, whatever you want to call it. So cute. I'm going to be sewing more clothes for her, matching myself. <laughs> God help me. <laughs> the final thing I want to show you is this coat. Do you see what I'm seeing? This caramel coat. I don't even want to show you the brand yet. I want you to guess. This caramel leather trench coat. It's got the zipper and it's got the tie and I need to try it on. But get this, get this before you guys get upset with me, all the people that are against animal. This is not real leather. This is pleather <laughs> or vegan leather, but it looks so good. It's so buttery soft. And would you believe how much, guess, how much would you spend on a coat like this? If this was genuine leather or even if it was vegan leather, how much would you spend on a lovely coat like this? When I put this coat on, I feel like a whole character, a whole new character is unlocked. <laughs> so I want you to see the details, the collar, the zipper that goes all the way to the bottom. Of course, it's got pockets, deep pockets. You can wear it open. I wouldn't wear it with what I'm wearing today. That's not the point. Focus on the jacket or on the coat. <laughs> Okay, you can zip it up. Zip is really good. And then you can tie it. And this coat is so amazing for the price. What? How much do you think it is? How much do you think it is? Would you believe this coat, this same coat, which I urge you to go and get? <laughs> this is a size 20, by the way. So I sized up because I got chubby arms. I knew that. My midsection is a little bit, you know, we won't talk about it. And my arms are chubby. So I sized up one size and it fits perfectly. How much do you think this coat is? I'm listening. You're wrong. <laughs> this coat cost me less than a hundred dollars. This coat cost closer to fifty dollars. Closer to fifty dollars. Mind blown. Blown. Under a hundred dollars for a full length lined coat that looks like supple leather and you won't believe where it came from. 
you won't believe where it came from. Walmart. Girl, Walmart. Walmart has stepped up their game. I don't usually shop for clothes at Walmart. I shop for groceries, I shop for detergent, toilet paper, stuff like that. I don't shop for clothes at Walmart, but when you go online to Walmart, they got a whole bunch of clothes that look like it could be designer clothes. I was really impressed. When I saw this coat, I was like immediately, yes, this is not sponsored. I genuinely love this coat. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description box or you might see it come up on the screen, I'm not sure, but I'll definitely leave a link to this exact coat. And I hope you enjoyed watching me today and just getting a quick little update. We are doing fine and hopefully I will resume a better schedule uh, with more content. Look out for a vlog on Sunday. I promise if it's not there on Sunday, it will be there on Monday. I promise, I promise, I promise, I'll do better. <laughs> I'll do better. <laughs> so don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'm looking forward to your comments. Let me know how you're doing, how your fall is going so far, what you're excited to get, what's going on. Do we need to pray for you? What's going on? <laughs> Let us know. Okay, God bless and I'll see you later. Bye.